Hello everybody and welcome to the table. So today we are taking a look at a Spyderco Para 3 lightweight. And as you can see this coloration right here, this is the knife with pink FRN scales. So beyond that is just your basic stock Para 3 lightweight. I picked this up from Indiana Knives. And during the recent Spyderco summer sale, uh, this knife retailed for $105 shipped. And so that's actually a pretty darn good deal for a Para 3. And especially considering their normal um, retail prices are quite high. And so if you are looking to purchase the Para 3 Lightweight at the cheapest price possible, this might be the model that you're looking to pick up. And so this one right here being the pink handle color variant, I believe they actually support some kind of like a breast cancer charity when you purchase this model. So that's always a nice thing from Spyderco. So that's a, a benefit. Um, but of course the pink color likewise is probably one of the least popular sellers because of course us tough knife guys aren't going to carry a pink knife around. So the uh, user base is going to be slightly smaller. And uh, that being said, I am somewhat hypocritical here as this pink FRN, I think it's going to take some writ dye beautifully and being a lighter color, it is definitely eligible to be dyed. So I'm going to be trying that out. But um, like I said, with the dye here, I'm going to be actually using this uh, writ dye synthetic and tropical teal. So it's a very light teal color and mixing it with a pink, I'm predicting it's going to become kind of like a darkish, uh, dark bluish, greenish color. But you never can tell until you actually do the dye. Now, this is not a how to process. There are plenty of videos on YouTube on how to writ dye a knife. But I figured it would be worth just making the video because even if you don't like pink as a color, if you have a bottle of writ dye lying around, the pink does not necessarily have to stay a pink color. So you can get definitely get something that's going to be unique and yours. And uh, it can all start right here with this base model pink para three. All right. So everything went better than expected. So check out this color. So like I thought it was going to be kind of like a darkish greenish blue. That's pretty much exactly what I ended up with. So check out this color pattern. It's definitely kind of like, like a slight greenish kind of dark in color though. I mean, I could see it in, in the right light at a distance. It might even just look like a black standard knife, uh, but it definitely has some color to it. So definitely something very unique. Uh, so it's not quite blue, it's not quite green, something kind of different. So I will say with that tropical teal dye, I did uh, leave it in the dye bath for honestly like three or four minutes because sometimes the colors absorb really quickly, but that pink hung around for a while. So it took more than a few minutes in the dye bath in order to fully cover up that pink color, you know? And so here it is compared to a, a genuine blue FRN Spyderco. So that's the tenacious there, but you can see the deep, the deep blue color versus this dyed greenish blue color. So just for the sake of comparison there, you can kind of see those uh, side by side and what color you're kind of getting with this dye. So I got something pretty unique, so I'm not too disappointed in this at all. Um, so definitely going to be a unique knife to carry around with you. Um, I'm looking forward to checking out that CTS BD1 steel. I hear it compares pretty favorably with something like, um, like S30V, you know, so kind of like a budgety version of that. And uh, I think it's pretty, pretty unique to the Para 3 lightweight. And for the last thing, I decided to pick up this clip from Lynch Northwest. I kind of like the banana theme. And plus, I thought this gold color would match pretty well with this greenish colored scale. And so I think it looks pretty nice. So Lynch Northwest has a lot of cool aftermarket clips. And this one fits that wire clip perfectly. So, hey, I think it looks pretty nice. And it's another way to customize the knife. So looks good to me.